Hey there guys, this will be a multi-part tutorial on how to create an obby in Roblox. So I am in Roblox Studio right now and I have a normal base plate already loaded in. So that's where you guys will want to start if you want to follow along this tutorial. So today I am gonna be showing you for this first part how to structure the stages for our obby. So to do that, we're going to go into our workspace in the Explorer and we're going to create a folder. And we're going to call this stage. And this folder here is going to be where all of our stages will be located within the game. Having it within a folder just keeps things organized and this folder just lets us be able to minimize it within the workspace. So we're going to create a new folder and we're gonna, inside the stage folder that we already created, and we're gonna name this one. So, so this folder will be for stage one. And let's go start creating an actual stage. So uh, let's delete the base plate because we're not gonna need that. It's quite large. And we're gonna keep the spawn location within um, the game because this is where we're gonna first spawn. And that's fine, we're gonna leave it that way. Up at the top in the insert tab, we're going to hit part and we're going to add a part to our workspace. I'm also going to make sure under model, my move is uh, 0.5. I like working in 0.5. Some people like working in 0.1, but it just makes it so that when you move things, that's just how far it moves each unit. So I'm moving 0.5 studs. You can use 0.1. You just might not be able to get as small or as detailed as you want. I'm gonna put this block underneath the spawn point so then we can uh, we can just have it as floor. And I'm going to make it bigger. I'm gonna make it a block, so I'm gonna take the size and just make sure it's a, a square. I'm gonna make this 50. I'm gonna make the other size 50. Um, you can make it as large as you want. This is just an example or any shape you want in that matter. So I'm gonna make this gray so we can see it a little bit better. And this is actually not gonna be part of the stage, but this is just gonna be kind of like the lobby area. The lobby area for where people first spawn. Some games might put things around the, the lobby for players to either purchase, which is annoying, don't do that, or just visuals, which are cool and not trying to get your money. Now let's start actually making part of stage one. So this tutorial is gonna show you how to structure your stages. And as we've already done, we've created a folder for the stages and we've created a folder for stage one. So the way we, the way we format stage one is how we're gonna format all of the other stages in the game. And you've gotta be consistent so then our code can be as efficient as possible when we need to figure out logic for each stage. So just do it the same way. I'm going to create a, a, well, that's not the best color. Let's try a little bit more golden. That's gonna be our start line for each stage. Each stage is gonna have this yellow block in front of it. And that's also gonna be the checkpoint. So when you run over it, we're going to have the player's stage get updated to whatever stage that line is associated with. In this, in this case, this line is associated with stage one. So when a player walks over it, they will, uh, their stage will change to one. Now let's actually make the stage. Uh, this example, I'm just gonna make a very simple lava jump. Lava jumps are pretty easy, very stereotypical of obby games and is just a good starter. We're just gonna make the floor the same color as before. It doesn't matter how long you make this. I just recommend making it like a, either not too long because we don't want players to die on stage one. And now I'm gonna make some obstacles. Now the obstacles aren't going to work yet. They're just going to be blocks that don't do anything. But for right now, we're just making the stage. And I'm gonna move them the same distance away from each other so I'm actually going to uh, move this onto the yellow block here. I'm going to move this 10 studs to the right. And now I'm just going to make three or four for good 
measure. I want to move my... So I changed my move value to 10, so then each time I resized it, it would size in 10 stud increments. Now I'm going to go back to 0.5 so I can resize things a little bit easier. And I'm going to change it back to 10, move it 10 studs, and then going back to 0.5 so I can work easier. And I'm going to change these blocks. So these are going to be lava blocks in the game, also pretty typical in... Uh, obby games, I'm going to make it red. Uh, red is usually considered bad in obby games. People normally know to not touch the red blocks in Roblox. Quite typically a lava block that you die if you touch, which is the case here. And I'm also going to make them neon. Whoops. In the material icon, I'm going to change it to neon. That definitely makes it clear that you do not want to touch those red lines. And I only made four, so then players could easily beat this stage. But hopefully they won't have too much issues. You want to make the stages a little bit simpler than you think, because some players will be on mobile devices, and mobile devices are quite hard to play obby games or anything that requires accurate inputs they've got touchscreen, which kind of is not good. So this is going to be stage one. That, that's it. That's stage one for us. Now, I want to make an example stage two. But first, before we try to make stage two, I'm just going to select these blocks here that are all part of stage one. And remember, the yellow block is also part of stage one. But our lobby area over here, these two blocks, the spawn and what it's, it is on top, are not part of stage one. So we're just, just going to select these blocks over here, the red blocks, the gray floor here, and the yellow line. And if you look at your explorer, they're all selected. Um, to select multiple items, you just hold control and click each item you want, and it will add to the selection. And we're going to drag that selection to our folder one. So this is part of uh, the stage. And if you did it correctly, the parts should all be inside this folder. And if you take your move tool while selecting the folder, it should move all of the parts that are within that folder. And you should only see these parts moving from doing that. And if you've got this far, then congratulations, you made your first stage, even though it's not functional yet. It is created, and we're going to use this basis to create the next stage. Now, you might be wondering, how do we get these blocks to actually do what we want to? So this uh, lava block here, it's not going to kill anyone yet. And this block here isn't going to save their checkpoint yet. Well, to do that, we have to make sure that the server knows. But the first thing we're going to do is add a string value to the parts we want to have special functionality. So I'm going to go inside a part and add a string value. I'm going to rename it uh, type. And this value in particular, this is within a lava block. So the type is going to be lava. Uh, I'm going to make it capital. And I'm going to copy this type. And I'm going to put it into all of the other lava blocks and paste it as well. So now all of the lava blocks have this type value of lava. And I'm also going to take the yellow line and in, in uh, I'm going to paste it as well into the lava or into the yellow line. I'm going to paste what we the type object, but I'm going to remove the value of lava in input start. So this way, this block will not be recognized as a lava block. Now doing this doesn't automatically give it functionality. We're just giving it kind of like an attribute to it and it doesn't do anything. But later in the code in the next part, we're going to go into how we're going to code and add functionality to each stage. For right now, we're just going to make an example stage two. So we're ready for the next tutorial part. I'm going to duplicate our folder one by doing control D when selecting the folder. I'm going to rename it to folder two, just two. And now you might be like, oh, it, it duplicated on the Explorer, but it's not showing up on our screen. Well, it's overlapping each other right now with our previous stage. 
So we gotta select the, the folder two, take our move tool and move it to the right. And as you can see, we have another stage and I'm gonna move it so that it's connecting. And now we've got two stages that are exactly the same. Um, I am just going to change this just a little bit. This time I'm going to just make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, it's a little uh, not organized in the sense that each block is a little bit different of length, but you know, that's okay. Obbies don't have to be perfect as long as the idea is there and you're not asking for money every second in the game. That's, that's how you get likes on your game, guys, is just don't, don't spam the monetization. I bet players could jump over the taller blocks right now, but that's fine. Make it a challenge for them. So now that's just creating the stage format. So each stage has a start line and each block has a type object inside them that gives them special functionality. And in a later tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to use those type objects inside the blocks to actually give them functionality. I almost forgot. So if you were to press the play button on the game, you'll find that, oh no, every part just falls down into the oblivion. That's an issue. We don't want that. So all you have to do is select all the parts by dragging and then in the model tab you just have to click this small button over here called anchor and make sure it's dark when it's dark that means all the parts are anchored and now when we go in after anchoring all the parts they all stay yeah i almost forgot about that so this is the end of this first part if you got through it i advise you to if it's not out already wait for part two which will continue the series until we've got a full-fledged obby game if you guys like this tutorial please do like and subscribe it helps this channel a lot however if you guys disliked anything or got confused let me know in the comments because i can change the way i make the next tutorials plus i can help you in the comments as well so just let me know thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in part two